All things are unity. All things are unified. Perhaps everything's okay just like it is. Perhaps I can relax and enjoy my day. Letting go of all of the things that have not been faced, that were not allowed here, that prevent us from allowing things to be exactly as they are right now. You don't feel there's anywhere else to be but right here and now. You can really dive into that and make it full. If insecurity is here, it can be here. It doesn't mean something that you know, we have to do this about that and rearrange the shadows on the cave wall just so, so that then it will be okay and then we can be open. The same old cloud game kind of gets applied to the recognition of the sky because it feels so good to recognize the sky is here. Look at it. And then, ooh, we get caught up in cloud gazing again. But how do, there was something, how do we see the endless infinite? It felt so good, but we're trying to figure out how we can arrange the clouds to see it again. So we can get them just so. So the cloud formation is just right so that we can notice the sky. So the sky will come back. So that we aren't separated from the sky. So we can have a connection with the sky. You can always recognize this piece. You can always be this piece, subjectively. It's not an object. Start to see that everything is really connected and that you actually are that moment. That moment is you. But like we walk around like it's not holding. And so as we kind of become more and more aware of the spiritual depth of every moment, then doesn't that mean that we become more infused and the world becomes more infused with us? And and when I say us, or we, or I, I'm not meaning just me, but all of us, and that unspeakable essence that is, that is within us, that connects us, and that is um, always. It's always so. Always so. It's always so. Right now. Relax. Open your heart. If I could give one person a holy moment, a moment that would change the way that they saw the world and would give them a sense of understanding and meaning. That's all, that's all I want. There's something deep inside of us that, that knows that we won't, that, that there's more to life, that we're here to do something special. We, we know it. And it's not just the ego. The ego will tell you that's the ego talking. Yeah. But you know it on a deep level. And, and when I remember that and I connect with the earth and I think this is something I've known not just in this lifetime. You know, so writing the book or getting your words out there or getting well known, it's like, well, yeah, you're just ticking boxes on the, on the pathway to what you already knew, yeah. which is that we need to transcend in whatever way in which it's showing up for somebody. And um, that's the right way for them. And, and that is what they've always been on the path to do. I would find it very interesting, almost as interesting as those flowers right there. Wow. <laughs> flowers. So I eat a 100% organic diet composed primarily of fruits. And I do eat a lot of vegetables as well. It is 100% raw. I don't cook anything, nothing. Nothing is cooked. It's all unprocessed. For me, how they are helping me develop what I want to call holonic shamanism. To express something that can go really deep, like I, like I was driving home from David's the other night and I started singing an Alicia Keys song and I sang it like so, like you really let yourself go and you're like, you're just like, whoa, like you just like all there 100% and I'm like, wow, I'm glad I can still do that. She just chanted the room. Is it amazing you found him down? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, you know, he's like, girl, the stripper, and he's like, mm -hmm. I love you, you're great. I love you. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. That's the way.
I guess uh, let's start with the human animal. Um, I am a human. To open, to live openly, to be open with others. I wanted to let you all know that I'm seriously considering within a year's time going to the next level is in having actual uh, implants. These are ones that you can take out. They expect me to show up to these reunions, yet they're not supportive of my transition. Come on. When I could spend it here in San Francisco with people that really love my energy and not my form. I can see the bridge from my window. It's beautiful. I wish I could share it with all of you.